Hello guys, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am going to explain database and different types of databases. But before understanding the database and its types, we need to know what is a data first. So data is nothing but a distinct pieces of information usually formatted in a special way. For example, a data has to convey some meaning to the user. Right? That means user needs to understand something by referring the data. Your data can be in so many different forms like text, image, right, etc. So data should convey right, it is the information, it should convey some meaning to the user. Now we need to store a data. Why? Why we need to store a data mainly we need to store a data because it is needed for our future use so best example i can give a college database so in a college data base i am going to store a student data right uh, where i can access my student records right when i needed it so what is database so database is nothing but a place to store a data right I told you I need to store a data for future reference for that purpose I'm going to use a database right so based on what type of data you are going to store in a database so I can divide the database into several types I can categorize the database into several types now let me see what are the different types of databases so here you can see there are uh, several types of databases are there but here I taken only main databases that are three databases first one is a hierarchical database the second one is a network database and the third one is a relational database now I am going to explain all these three databases in detail so what is a hierarchical database in a hierarchical database, data is stored in a form of parent and child relationship, right? So that is, in a hierarchical database, besides actual data, records also contain information about their groups of parent and child relationship. That means, in a hierarchical database, data uh, is organized like a tree structure, right? The data is stored in the form of collection of fields where each field consists only one value right and the records are linked to each other through links right you can see the example here you can see that diagram where so my fields right are connected in a tree like structure right uh, there is a parent and child relationship here so you can see the diagram there and one thing in a hierarchical database model each child should have only one parent right and one thing parent and child should always be connected through links and a parent can have multiple children right so very very important thing each child record should have only one parent and parent can have multiple children so these are the uh, examples for hierarchical databases so what is the advantage of a hierarchical database hierarchical databases can be accessed and updated rapidly yes right so you can uh, update the hierarchical databases very fast because uh, in this hierarchical database the relationship between the records are defined in advance right that means uh, we have links right between the parent and the child we can move from different uh, nodes to another node it is a two-way communication it is two edged right and what is the disadvantage here adding a new field or adding a new node or a record right it's very difficult because I need to right modify the entire database that is the main disadvantage here and one more disadvantage is uh, yeah, if you want to retrieve any data here so we need to traverse through each tree until the 
record is found so i need to traverse the whole tree so definitely it's going to take more processing time so this is the disadvantage now what are the examples for hierarchical databases the real world examples of hierarchical database are ibm's information management system that is ims and windows registry are two types right two popular examples of hierarchical databases right in linux also our uh, the linux file system is hierarchical right uh, the files are stored in a tree structure next is a network database what is a network database network database use a network structure to create relationship between entities right so you can see here so this is the example for a network database so it is also an hierarchical database but with little bit difference so what is the difference we will see now so network databases are mainly used on a large digital computers network databases are hierarchical yes i told you right so but what is the difference here right so in hierarchical databases where one node can have one parent only a network node can have relationship with multiple entities right and next thing in network databases children are called members and parents are called occupier right understood the difference guys so hierarchical databases where one node can have one parent only a network node can have a relationship with multiple entities right that is many to many relationship and the difference between each child or a member can have more than one parent that's why i told you it's a many to many relationship so this is the example so you can see here a children can have more number of parents examples what are the real world examples for network database so the first one is a integrated data store that is ids so our next one is idms that is integrated database management system it is also a one of the real world example and rima database manager turbo image and univac dms 1100 so these are the examples of network databases but in today's world we are using relational databases more compared to network and hierarchical databases right so what is a relational database in a relational database the relationship between data is relational and data is stored in the form of table that is tabular form so that is it is stored in the form of rows and columns right so understood guys here in a relational database the data is stored in the form of rows and columns you can see here right so this is the example how your data is going to store in a relational database so whatever the data i am going to store in a relational database it will be in the form of rows and columns right and each column in a table right each column in a table represents an attribute and each row in a table represents a record and each field in a table represents a data value right and next thing so to interact with this type of databases that is with a uh, relational databases how we can interact means i can interact by writing the queries to write a query i'm going to use a language called sql structured query language that is structured query language it is invented by ibm i'm going to write queries using a sql by using a query i can insert or i can uh, modify the database the relational database and one more important thing relational databases stores the information in the form of tables you know that right so i need to identify each table right so to identify the each table i'm going to use a field called key field key is nothing but a for example so to identify a person uh, i can identify a person by name 
or I, I, or I can identify an employee by its uh, ID number. Likewise, to identify an individual table in a relational database, I'm going to use a unique key called primary key, right? So using that, right? So I can use it to connect one table of data to the another. So uh, to connect the other tables, uh, to connect uh, two tables, I am going to use a concept of foreign key, but I am going to explain those concepts in my next video. So, we, what are the real world examples for relational databases? So, these are the real world examples for uh, relational database. Uh, first one is in Oracle, and the second one is in SQL Server, or I can use a MySQL or SQLite or IBM DB2. So these are the examples for a relational database. So what are the advantages? I told you right. So relational databases are uh, more used widely today. Why? Because of its advantages. So what are the major advantages? First thing, relational database can be used with little or no training. So to use these databases, I don't need much of a training, right? That is the dis, uh, that is the advantage. And what is the next advantage? Database entries can be modified without specify the entire body. That means you don't need to change the entire database for uh, modifying uh, some information. You can modify only the information uh, that is affected. So remaining things can be unaffected. That is the one more. Uh, advantage of a relational database please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please click the bell icon to get the notifications and don't forget to like and share